Whether it's cracked or just has one too many blown pixels, a broken laptop display can stop you dead in your tracks. But with the right tools, a little technical know-how, and a bit of patience, you can replace a damaged LCD. Just remember that this isn't a fix you should make if you have a warranty that covers accidental damage. I also suggest you watch my earlier video on what to know before trying to fix a smartphone or tablet. It's not specifically about laptops, but the information is still relevant and will help you decide if you should repair the machine yourself or just take it to a shop. Lastly, know that by following these instructions, you do so at your own risk. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'll focus on replacing just the LCD panel, which is what you'll do if the screen is cracked, like the one on this laptop. Also, I'll be demonstrating the process on an ASUS UL50V notebook, which has an LED backlit LCD. Depending on the make and model of your laptop, the internal hardware and specific steps may vary, but the general process should be the same. To begin your fix, you'll need a few simple tools and a replacement LCD panel. For tools, I recommend a screwdriver with a variety of small bits, such as a Phillips 00 and a Torx T5. It's also a good idea to have a few thin metal blades or plastic spudgers. These are really handy for removing the trim that surrounds the screen. As for a replacement LCD panel, you should be able to buy one either from the laptop manufacturer's authorized parts dealer or a third-party supplier. Depending on the screen, they usually cost between $50 and $250, more if it's a high-end display or you buy an OEM replacement. Regardless, you'll want to buy a new screen that matches your broken one exactly. And the only sure way to do this is to remove the broken one. So let's get cracking. After disconnecting the power supply and removing the battery, carefully examine the bezel around the screen. You'll need to remove this bezel to access the screws that hold the LCD panel in place. Now on this laptop, there are several rubber cushions that support the lid as it rests against the case, but they also hide screws. I'll need to remove these cushions and the screws that are underneath before removing the bezel. Now, your laptop may not have cushions or hidden screws. The bezel may simply snap onto the lid or be held in place with double-sided tape. Just adapt my instructions to fit your specific laptop. With the hidden screws removed, I used a thin metal blade to pop loose one of the bottom corners and work my way around the bezel with a plastic spudger. Regardless of how you do it, you'll need to completely remove the bezel. With the LCD's mounting brackets exposed, you can remove the screws that secure it to the lid. Then rest the display front side down on the case and disconnect its cable. If your laptop was made before 2010 and has an LCD with fluorescent backlights, it will likely have two cables. But as this is an LED backlit LCD, it has only one. Now, locate the manufacturer's label and note the model number. Using this information, you should be able to buy an exact match for your broken screen. Once your new screen arrives, unpack it and make sure it matches the old one. If the dimensions, mounting brackets, and connector all match, you can connect the new panel, position it in the lid, and secure it using the appropriate screws. Now, before reattaching the bezel, it's a good idea to test the new panel. So reconnect the battery and power cable and turn the machine on. If the display works, you can reattach the bezel and any external screws and rubber cushions. The repair is now complete. As laptop fixes go, this one isn't too tough, but it does take a little patience and planning to make sure you get the right replacement screen. If you have questions about this fix or my cracking open videos, you can contact me through Twitter. And to see more teardown photos of laptops, smartphones, and other gadgets, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. For CNET and Tech Republic, I'm Bill Detweiler.